Hello, my name is Li Hao. Today we're going to do Event of Code 2020. So what is Event of Code? Event of Code is actually a series of uh, mini programming challenges that is on the Event calendar. So from the 1st of December all the way to 25th of December, every day we're going to have one mini challenge. And today is day 5. So what does that mean? If you have missed day 1, 2, 3, 4, they are you can find them in the link in this corner. Yep, go watch them. And today we're going to try day five. So uh, I have my desktop over here and we're going to move on. So day five, binary boarding. So you board your plane only to discover a new problem. You drop your boarding pass. Well, you aren't sure which seat is yours and all of the flight attendants are busy with a flood of people that suddenly made it through passport control. What? So you write a quick program to use your phone's camera to scan all of the nearby boarding passes. Perhaps you can find your seat through process of elimination. Well, instead of zones or groups, this airline uses binary space partitioning. So uh, to the seat people, so to use binary space. So what does it mean? So a seat might look like this, a bunch of uh, characters. So F means front, B means back, L means left, and R means right. So the first seven characters will be either F or B, so front or back. This specifies exactly one of the 128 rows on the plane. Uh, each letter tells you which half of the region the given set is in. Well, start with the whole list of rows. The first letter indicates whether the seat is in the front or the back. Well, the next letter indicates first half of that region you sit in and so on until you're left with exactly one row. Well, for example, consider the first seven rows. Um, F, B, F, B, B, F. So uh, the final row is... Okay, so F means the lower half. Right, so 0 to 63, the lower half would be... Oh, ah, well, so 0 to 63 will be the lower half of 0 to 127, right? And then B means the second half, right? Which means that um, rows 32 to 63. And then F means the lower half. And then B means the upper half, okay, of the, the remaining. And then B and then F, okay. So um, the last three characters will be either L or R. This specifies exactly one of the columns of the seats in the plane, right? 0 to 7. So the same process goes with L and R, lower half and upper half. So in this example, consider the just last three characters, F, B, F, B, B, F, F, R, L, R. Right? So R, L, R, right, left, right. So right means the upper half, left, L is lower half. 4 to 5, and then R would be the uh, upper half of that 2, column 5. Right? So decoding um, this will reveal row 44 and column 5. So every seat also has a unique seat ID. right? So that is by multiplying the row by 8 and then plus the column. So in this case, the seat will be 44 times 8 plus 5, uh, 357. Right? So here are some of the boarding passes. Um, okay, and then we're going to find the seat ID, right? So look through the list of boarding pass and which, what is the highest seat ID on a boarding pass, right? We're going to have a list of boarding passes. We're going to find the seat ID for each of them, and then we're going to find which of them has the highest um, seat ID. So we're going to open the input and we are going to save it. Input the text place okay and as usual we are going to copy this to the folder and we're gonna create the file and we're gonna start coding okay so as usual as well we're gonna import fs which is a file system from node.js because i love javascript and we are going to uh, read the content of the file. So day five dot text and UTF eight. 
All right, so um, let's take a look at the content. So we have a list of boarding passes and we are going to, uh, they are split by new line. So we are going to split by new line. Okay, and what we are going to do here is that uh, we're going to look through this uh, line of boarding pass. Boarding pass. And we are going to find the seat ID. Boarding pass. And uh, we are going to find the maximum of the seat ID. Right, so a nice pattern of how I would use to find a maximum of uh, numbers within an array is that I would start with a um, variable called maximum, maximum seed ID. And I would initialize it with like the smallest number I can think of. So in this case, it's actually a number called number of mean value, right? Of course, um, you 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 want this if you're you have no idea whether the seed ID can be positive or negative. This is like the negative of all, the most negative number, right? I think. Oh wait, this is not the. Uh, so in JavaScript, I think um, that there's even like more negative than that. That will be a negative infinity, right? Um, or if you want a safe number that is within um range of comparison, will will be the minimum safe integer. Well, uh, in this case, actually, seat ID is always um, positive, right? So you can initialize it with zero as well if you want to, right? Um, so while we are looping through, uh, what we're going to do is that we will constantly update this variable. And by updating it, we are like doing uh, math.max. So we're going to calculate the maximum of the current seat ID that we're looking at and the maximum. Right, so we'll, if this means that if maximum ID is smaller than then then seed ID, then the seed ID will be written and will be assigned to maximum. If maximum is greater than seed ID, then maximum will, the value of it will be written. So we'll still get the maximum of both. And at the very end, we are going to console out maximum seed ID. Right, so next thing is we're gonna find seed ID function get seed ID boarding pass okay so we're going to copy one of these seats so um the first part of it is actually um uh back front 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 right um so actually right um there, there's a pattern in this right um, you, you can do binary search if you are familiar with, which is to find out uh, using binary search to figure out uh, what are the index. So 0 to 127, the midpoint is 63. And then you keep doing that binary search and you kind of figure out like where you end up with based on this uh, instruction. But actually this is also um, uh, binary in a sense where you can, if you take a look at uh, one example that I was looking at here. Um, so 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 this is we're gonna try a very small number, uh, our, uh right left left as um idea to try to prove this out is that um if you look at here right left left right right is the um first right is the upper half and left is the lower half right um what we end up is is that if we have a number that is uh eight, which is in binary one zero zero zero, uh how you would split this number into half would be you would have the first half from uh, one 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 uh zero one 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 to sorry one zero 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 right uh one 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 Sorry, no, 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 one. What am I? What am I doing over here? Uh, so it'll be, yeah. So eight, right? So the first half will be eight. Is actually four plus four, right? 
sorry. Yeah, so four plus four, right? So the first half will be starting from zero, one, zero, zero to um, zero, one, one, one. And the lower half would be starting from zero, zero, zero to zero, zero, one, one, right? This is how you would split up um, numbers. Um, so zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, one, right? So this is the lower half. And the upper half will be zero one zero zero, uh, so zero one zero zero one zero one zero one one zero and zero one 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 in binary, right? Um, so yeah, just to type it out and let you guys to see it. Okay. So the first, so if it's a upper half. Then this character, this like this bit itself will be should be one, and if it's low half, it should be zero. And likewise, if we are moving to the first half or second half of things of of whichever part it is, we are looking at the two bits, right? So the upper half of that two bits will be one zero one 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 zero one or one one or zero 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 one, right? So the upper half would start with one the bit one and the lower half will start with a bit zero right what so what why why am i saying this is that in this case if you take a look at here uh right uh, it when you are going to the upper half you have the bit one over here and you go to the lower half going to bit zero over here right so um and the same thing goes for back and front uh back should be the back is the upper half and f is the lower half Right, so, so what I'm trying to strike here is that we can actually convert this into binary by converting a uh, boarding pass, replace uh, all the B to, wait, uh, all the B and uh, right to one. Right, and then right, right, just the upper half, and then replace all the F or L to zero. Right, so we can convert them all to zero binary. So this is a string of um. Uh, it should turn out to be one zero 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 one zero zero, right? And then uh, we're gonna return uh, parse int binary, and this time around the radix should be two, which is a base two binary number, right? This is a binary number. We are gonna pass it as binary, right? So if we're gonna just try this function itself. Gonna comment out things. Um, gonna try this boarding pass, which is this one. Give us five six seven, right? Which is sit ID five six seven. And you might ask me, like, why do we skip to find out the row and the column? Why didn't we split it up and then um? Um, find out the row and the column and then use like the row times 8 plus 5 uh, plus column equals to the seed ID. Well, when it times 8, it's actually, um, I mean, if you think about it, uh, times 8 of the row is actually to, because um, the, the three characters on the right is actually, um, uh, there, there will be eight, 8 different kind of combinations, right? So essentially, it's um, it's the same number that you are getting if you just convert all of them at once, right? So if you think in terms of the binary times eight, it's actually shift three uh, to the left, right, leaving three zeros on the back, or on the right, on the or you or you would call the least significant bits, right? So it's actually um, this is actually even tedious where it's actually doing the same trying to find out uh, this whole thing in binary, right? So 
so we have our seed ID in binary now, uh, and we com managed to find the seed ID now, and now let's try and run and see what's the maximum seed ID. 976. Well, let's see whether it is the right answer. Submit. Whoa. Yes, that's, whoa. Yes, that's the right answer. And we are going to move on to part two. So think the fastened seat belt signs have turned on. Time to find your seats. This is a completely full flight, so your seat should be the only missing boarding pass in your list. However, there's a catch. Some of the seats at the very front and the back of the plane don't exist on this aircraft, so they will be missing from your list as well. Your seat wasn't at the very front or back though. The seat with ID plus one or N minus one from yours will be in your list. <laughs> so it's it's just trying to tell me that um my seat won't be the the last number or the rightmost number of the list of seat IDs, right? It will be a continuous series of sequence of numbers. Uh, of course, we have to sort it. Then it will be a continuous sequence of numbers, and one of the numbers within it is missing. So my seat will be in the middle because uh, the seat ID plus one of me and minus one of me will still be in the list, right? So my my seat ID is in the middle. So um, that's that's fair. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this. Uh, we're gonna don't need this, and we're gonna map instead. I'm going to return the seat ID. Right, so remove this. And over here, we're going to say seat IDs. And we're going to sort the seat IDs. Um, a, B. So, so this is a, I'm going to use a sort and I'm going to uh, determine how I want to sort it, right? So by default, JavaScript actually sort numbers uh, as if the numbers are string. So um, it will based on the first digit and they sort it, right? So one and 10 and 100 are next to each other and and then comes after which is two and 20 and 200, right? Which is not a one. I want to sort the number by the value of the num digit itself. Uh, so I have to write it myself, uh, which is this way. So after I sort them, um, I will have to go through the list of the numbers, um, which uh, what I would do is, okay, I want to start with the first index and, and I'm going to start with two variables, right? I think this is this is a very nice way of doing this, uh, which is I'm gonna start the follow with two variables i and j. So i will be the index of the zeroth index of the seat IDs, which is the minimum uh seat ID. Uh, j is the the value of that seat ID, so it's the smaller seat ID. So i is the index, j is the value, right? And i and while i is less than the seat ID dot length. I plus plus. Uh, and J plus plus, right? Because uh, seat IDs will will continue to grow to that at the same time with the uh, index as well. Uh, technically, it should be. Uh, once it's not, then actually we found our seat, right? So so and visualize this will be probably the seat ID will start with with three, four, five, and then seven. And I will be zero, one, two, three, right? The index will be zero, one, two, three, right? So we, we initialized it with three and zero. Uh, so I is the zero and J is three. And we increment them together at the same time. And uh, so, so increase, so three become four, zero become one, uh, four become five, one become two, and then five should be become six and uh, two becomes three. Well, now, uh, G the seat ID's index of uh, 3 is 7, but J is seven, uh, is, is 6, right? Which is um, incorrect. Uh, they are they're not equal. So that is my seat ID. Uh, if uh, J is not equal to so seat ID's 
I, then I found my seed ID, which is seed, which is G, and I'm gonna break, and that's all, right? Six hundred and eighty-five. Um, I right, sounds fair enough. I'm gonna submit. What? Okay, that's the right answer, and that's all for this. Day 5 of Event of Code 2020. Well, um, I will be doing Day 6 soon. And how soon it is? Well, you will have to subscribe my channel. So please subscribe my channel and press on the thumbs up if you like this video. And if you found something that you think that I can improve on, please comment down below as well. Thank you. Bye.